Well, you guys, if you're looking for a powerful mini PC that does everything you need, then check out the Geekom A5. This does have a Ryzen 7 processor in here. It has 32 gigabytes of RAM. It has plenty of storage and room to upgrade for even more storage if you need it. You can turn these into a retro gaming system or just use it as a general computer if you wish. Now, Geekom are having a 20th anniversary and uh, they sent me this anniversary gift over and uh, I'll take a look at that in another video, maybe a short video. We have 32 gigs of RAM, also 512 gigabytes of SSD storage and also a Ryzen 5800H. They also sent me this Geekom PM16. I'll show you this a little bit here. Here's the specs. Basically, it's a 16 inch IPS panel with resolutions of 1920 by 1200 and the color temperature is 6500K. The ports on this are a mini HDMI port and also two Type-C uh, ports on here with built-in two speakers on that. We could take a look at that in a little bit later on and maybe do a, another separate short video on that. Inside the kit for the uh, PC, you're gonna get yourself your user manual, your thank you card, your HDMI cable, your power cable, depending on what country you're in, it will be different for you. But in the UK, we have that free pin plug there. Also, we have our power adapter here, our power brick, if you want to call it. And basically, here is the make and model of that. It gives you all the specifications on here. If you want to pause that, you can read that at your own leisure. But basically, there is the power brick. You're going to get some screws here. This is for upgrades and things like that. And also, maybe if you want to mount this to a VESA mount to the back of a monitor, you can do because it comes with the bracket here and you can even wall mount this i would have thought as well if you wanted to but basically that is for a vessel mount for the back of your monitor and you got the mini pc itself here is the full specifications of the unit itself tdp is 35 watts it's got eight core 16 threads and also 16 megabytes of cache 3.2 gigahertz running at 4.4 gigahertz at full tilt and you can also see here we do have vega 8 graphics dual channel ddr4 3200 and also goes up to 64 uh, gigabytes if you want to upgrade this. Also, the SSD in this one is 512 gigabytes. And also, this can go up to uh, 2 terabytes. There's also a 2.5 inch bay in here, which can have up to 2 terabytes as well. So you've got plenty of storage in here. It does come pre-installed with Windows 11 Pro, but you can install other operating systems on this as well. It does have Wi-Fi 6 and also Bluetooth as well. So this is the actual mini PC. And you can see here is that rose gold look here. So we do have two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports on the front. And we also have that audio input, which is our headphone jack 3.5 millimeters. And we have our power button on the front as well. So that is the actual front of the device. On this side, we do have that SD card reader on this side with some ventilation on there. And also on the other side, if I can just spin this around here, you do have that Kenston lock in case you want to lock the device to whatever it is you mounting it to. And on the back, we do have some other ports here, which is our power input here. We have two Type-C ports on here as well. We have a USB 2.0 port and also that USB 3.2 Gen 2 port on there. Two HDMI ports, which are HDMI 2.0 B ports, and also have our 2.5 gigabit ethernet port on the back as well on the bottom you have four screws to undo the actual device so you can do some upgrades and we also have that mounting area here so you can mount that vessel mount on there also we do have these four screws which i've got to undo and remove the bottom it's that simple and you get access to the actual device itself so you can do some upgrades if you want to put in there an ssd up to two terabytes you can do and you can see it does have space here for an ssd right here two and a half inch drive and it does come with a, an NVMe SSD in here, which is the Lexar NM620. That is a 512 gigabyte SSD, PCI Express Gen 3 times 4. Also, you can see there is an M.2 slot on here as well, which looks like a, a M.2 2242. And also that would allow some more storage in here. And the memory on here is the DDR4. It is... Uh, some 32 gigabytes of storage, which is upgradable to 64 gigs. And the name of this is the Whoop Posit, which I've never heard of. It's some Chinese branded uh, memory, but that's the memory that you're going to get inside of this actual unit here. It's made in Taiwan. And uh, again, uh, for this sort of price point, $399 is what this unit costs. That Lexar drive there 
is around about £50 to buy in the UK. So all in all, you're getting quite a nice little unit here with some uh, good parts in here. So here's the actual monitor itself. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on this uh, monitor, but you're getting a mini HDMI cable here, a Type-C to Type-C cable, and also a Type-C to USB, which is for the uh, actual power adapter there, so you can power it as well. So that's basically what you're going to get there. And the actual monitor itself, I've already gone through the specs of this. It is just a, a little portable monitor at the end of the day, but I'll show you some of the results. It does come with this little cover here, which acts as some sort of stand as well. It's not the best in the world for standing this actual portable monitor up, but it does work. And it's the sort of thing that you get with tablets. It's got a bit of a magnet in the back that actually sticks to the back of the monitor. Here is the actual ports here. It's got two speakers on this as well. So you've got a couple of type C ones here and also that mini HDMI on there. Beveled edges on here as well. And there's some rocker buttons on the side for your power button and some other settings on here for menu and things like that. There's another speaker there as well. So that is the actual monitor itself. Looks pretty nice as you can see, but at the end of the day, I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I will do a separate video on this, but I just wanted to quickly show you in this video what it looks like. The camera is not really doing it some justice. It is an IPS panel one here which does give you some good, clean, colourful shots on that uh, little monitor. So let's go ahead and run some benchmarks here for the people that like to see some benchmarks. We're going to run Geekbench 6 on this, and I'll do the CPU benchmark first so you can see the scores. On the single core, you're getting 1,915. On the multi-core, you're getting 8,895 for this mini PC. And for $399, it's not a bad uh, benchmark score. Let's go ahead and do the GPU one here quickly so you can see what it's like for the GPU. And an OpenCL score is 17,506, which isn't too bad, which means you're going to be able to play some games on this. It's just not going to be doing 1080p AAA listed games. So the reads and writes for this is 3,498.12 for the reads and 3,122.80 for the writes on the drive itself. Let's do some playback here. And this is uh, 120 Mbps 4K Ultra HD at 10 bits. And we'll run this in uh, VLC here so you can see what it looks like. And uh, that's what you're going to get here. So it can play uh, 4K video, no problem at all. So whether you're running a Plex server or some sort of media server, you can do with this particular type of mini PC. So if you're looking for something like that, then this is going to be ideal. I'll just do a quick st stop and drag here. And it starts instantly there which is good. Let's do the more aggressive one here, 400 Mbps, 4K Ultra HD, HEVC, 10 bit. And you can see here, it's playing that video, no problems at all. And this is quite a hard video to play. And I'll do a quick drag test here to see whether it starts again. And there we go. And it starts right up. Not too bad for someone who's looking for a media server type mini PC. Now, again, this will run Photoshop and everything else that you want to run on here. Do some like video editing on this. Let's do a 4K stream here with Big Buck Bunny. And again, I'll put the stats for nerds on there so you can see if you want to do some sort of streaming. And I'll do this full, uh, full screen again in a second. Let me just put the stats for nerds here. You get a few drop frames at the start, but once it stabilizes, it's pretty solid, as you can see here. And I'll do a quick drag test here and no problem at all. And uh, that's running that file. No problem at all, straight off of YouTube, and you can stream that straight down if you're looking for a streaming device. As I've said, uh, retro games, light gaming, you can do all of that on this uh, little mini PC. Again, I'll just do some quick retro games here that you can see. No stuttering or jerkiness whatsoever. And this is at 1080p, and I've upscaled this as well, so it really will put it for its paces. And again, this one uh, is a pretty smooth game, as you can see here, no problem at all. And uh, it's having no issues running these. And this is what you can actually set up here. You can have this set up so it runs all of these games from an external drive, which is what this one's running off of. Or you can put uh, even PlayStation 2 games on here as well. And it should have no problem playing some of these games, as you can see here. So these are pretty smooth playback. So if you're looking for something that does retro gaming, then something like this might be something you're interested in. So whether it be some light gaming or productivity or whether you're doing some sort of uh, editing on here or maybe leisuring and surfing the web 
or you want to set it up for home theater or streaming device, this little mini PC will have you covered. And at $399, that's not too bad for a mini PC. Yes, some of the uh, parts in here are older than what we have available for today for some of the more bleeding edge mini PCs. But again, with that would come higher costs. So to keep the costs down, they are using slightly older technology in this A5. Now, for most of the people that are looking for a mini PC, this will be perfectly fine at this sort of a price point. And again, you're getting a pretty powerful uh, system. I'm just running a stress test here with CPU-Z here. You can see it does get up to 100 Celsius here, but there is no thermal throttling. I did leave it for some time and there was no thermal throttling happening. So it can cope with the sort of stress tests that I'm putting it through. And you're probably never ever going to do this sort of stress test here. Again, you could render a video out and you will see there's no thermal throttling there, which is a good thing. So I'm just leaving this running for a little bit of time just to show you. So if you're looking for something like this at a low cost of $399, then something like the Geekom A5 might be an option for you. Uh, you know, but if you're looking for bleeding edge, you're going to have to pay uh, bleeding edge money, which does come at a bit more of a premium. And they have given me a £20 off coupon code which you can see on the screen right here. And if you use that coupon code, you should get £20 off the actual price that they're offering already, which is already a pretty good price. So I'll quickly show you down here. When you go to the page, I'll leave the links in the video description and uh, you'll be able to go down there and click on those and be able to use those uh, promo codes to get £20 off the actual official price of this one here. So let me just quickly show you this promo code in action. You can get another £10 off apparently by putting your details in here. But I'll skip this one for now and I'll just quickly add this to car on the UK site. Add this in and then you can use the promo code here. I'll quickly add that promo code in and you should see that price drop down on the UK site here. We'll need to put in your details and stuff. But use that promo code in this coupon code area right here. Add that in. I'll leave it in the video description for you in case you're looking for a cheap deal. And there you go, £359. And I'll quickly show you the uh, USA one just in case you're living in the United States. And this, I'll leave the link down there as well. And you would just add this to cart as well. And you, you would use my same promo code here. So hit checkout here. And all you'd need to do here is then put that promo code in this area right here. And obviously you'd need to put all your details in and you can use PayPal as well. So let me just quickly put that one in here and you can apply this and you should get that less. Now, if you live in the States, it's going to be uh, $379 there. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. I'll leave all the information in a video description. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the discords of a chat. Bye for now.